ad hoc example problem 1.2 employed for lab number one. We're going to employ it again for lab number two on stereo nets. The stereo net solution to this problem. And let me remind you, I'm using a pen right now. I'm using regular paper. That's for the sake of this video production and what I'll distribute to you. I would not recommend using a pen. I would recommend using a pencil and having a good eraser on hand. And I would recommend tracing paper like this. Nonetheless, let's proceed. I simply uh, lay my overlay on the stereo net. Let the tack um, puncture through the paper so that I can then turn it. All right. What do I do first after that? I mark north. There's north. What do I do next? I trace the primitive great circle. So let's look at the problem. Probably should have done already. But a plane strikes 290 and dips 52 to the southwest. Okay, offers these x these uh these uh, expressions for that by right arm rule it's 110 52 okay our interest is finding it, the apparent dip in a vertical section that trends east west and that would be 090 or 270 whichever actually results in an apparent dip i need to uh, mark 290 that's right there That is 290 degrees. All right. And while I'm here, I might as well put a tick mark for my east-west plane. All right. I ought to visualize this. It's The strike is 290. It dips to the southwest, so it dips over here. The correct right arm rule expression is in fact 110 so that my right arm would be over toward the southwest. So what do I do now? Well, I'll tell you what, I can go ahead and put 110 on here. That in fact is 110. What do I do now? I rotate my overlay. I'm keeping in mind that my great circle needs to be over here and it's going to be such that it corresponds to a dip here of 52 degrees. So I need to rotate my overlay to this position. You'll notice that 290 is on north, 110 is on south, further demonstrating that they're azimuth and back azimuth. I need to count in an angle of 52 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40, 52, and that will be the great circle that I trace. Very good. Now, remember this was my east-west axis, this one right here. This is west, this is east. The equivalent expression, of course, is 0, 9, 0, and the equivalent expression here is 2, 7, 0. I don't know if that fit in on the video or not. Yeah, I guess it did. All right. So now, with it in this position, all I do is I count this angle, 10, 23 degrees. So, the apparent dip in this case is 23 degrees. The direction of that apparent dip is actually 270 degrees. The apparent dip, again, is 23 degrees. 